Hello. So, to you, Dora. What do we got here? A person, you, Dora. Um. Well, let's find out. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> Drek is a dick. Just, oh, he's such a dick. Right, Eudora, I like this planet a lot. It's, it's Pretwai, is what it is. Um, but, yes, yeah, so, two paths. One leads to uh, a weapon, and one is the way to go. And uh, now this would be where you finish off one path, uh, the weapon path. Um, like, you might, we might be able to see the weapon from here, I don't know if it's actually inside a building. No, it's inside the building. So that building over there is where the weapon is. Um, but that's not why I'm going back here. Why I'm going back here is because there's a gold bolt right there. And it is the only gold bolt of the level, and I just got it. It's super easy. So, yay. Good for me. So yeah, this level is, to my knowledge, not too difficult. There's like one or two things which are a little bit eh, but yeah, it's not that bad. I am, I, I'm genuinely scared because this is the last easy level and the next level is where things start getting really difficult at points. And, and by that I mean genuinely, like... I know for a fact that the, the Black Tactical Research Station is going to kill me at some point. And I know for a fact that Black Water is going to kill me at some point. And Umbris is going to remove my soul, so... Yeah, just, just, yeah? Like, I, I'm starting to get scared, and then beyond Umbris, I don't really know how to deal with things. And I'm not going to practice it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to experience it live, quote unquote. So, yeah, that's uh, going to be fun. But anyway, uh, I'm going to quickly do a thing. So if I, if I do look inside the mushroom, do you see it? It very brief. It had Dan Johnson's face in it. Dan Johnson is a person who worked at Insomniac, who was apparently just the nicest guy on the planet. And everyone loved him at Insomniac, and he has references of his face uh, throughout uh, various Insomniac games. I believe it started in, I want to say Spyro 3, his face is on wanted posters in Dino Mines. Um, but uh, yeah, he's actually in the Mushroom. Uh, and that was a thing that wasn't known until Mike Stout's uh, developer commentary with me. Uh, I'm not a developer, it's more like a developer slash let's play a fan commentary. Uh, of... Uh, yeah, of um, Ratchet 1, and uh, yeah, whilst he was actually, a, I believe he was a tester and junior designer um, in uh, in Ratchet 1, uh, oh god, he was, uh, he does know a lot about it, obviously about the development process, what happened, and even if he did come into it quite late, um, and yeah, that was, uh, that was one of the things that um, like people, people never knew about, and literally no one... No one knew him until this point, but that was Dan Johnson's face um, until he mentioned it, which is really cool. Like, a secret like that was in the game all this time and people still didn't know, right? Goes to, sh like, goes to show how many secrets and glitches and stuff that haven't been discovered are there still within games. Like, really? I wonder how many. Makes you wonder. But, yeah. So. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Eudora. Uh, what, what can I say about Eudora? It's green. 
Excellent. Well, uh, so the blocks. Um, yeah, the blocks are actually quite interesting the way they they range like that. The enemy I'm killing right now, you actually don't see them for a while, if I remember correctly. You see them, see them, I'd say about five planets time, uh, I think. Log Station, Blackwater, Umbrus. Okay, four planets. Um, so it's after Umbrus. Uh, it's planet called Italia. Uh, but, yeah, the, uh, it's interesting that they don't return for a while. But they are particularly annoying. Um, not right now. I mean, they mostly stand still when they're shooting at you. Not the case later. They will be really annoying. And I'm killing them with the wrench. So, ha 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 ha. I encourage you to try and play along, but just know you will suffer massively. Give it time. Like you, will, you don't know suffering until you get to Umbrus, in which case you will learn the true meaning of utter bullshit. <laughs> like, I don't know how long I'm gonna go in this recording session. I am seriously seriously considering stopping before Battaglia. Like, it doesn't matter how up for it I am. I'm just trying to, f I'm consider, like, at the moment, I'm just being like, Teal, stop. Don't go there. You know it's not worth it. You will lose everything in your life forever if you do. If I, if I tell my brain lies, it will believe it, right? <laughs> no, but seriously, it will it will drive me insane. It is... The level of bullshit that exists is just... Oh, God. So, I, I mean, when I streamed it, I got so angry. Like, I don't get angry often. But, like, not to, like, the extent where I am seriously human, but that just ruined me. It, oh, I was, I, I don't know how long I spent on it. I think an hour and a half, maybe. Maybe a little bit less, maybe just an hour, but still, it felt longer. <laughs> it, it's not fun. It is brutal and unfair and yeah, I'm looking forward to it, sort of. <laughs> Watch me put off recording anything for a long time because of it. I mean, I'm recording this way ahead of schedule. Like, I may as well say it, I'm recording this July 11th, the day that the finale of Chain of Memories goes up. And when this goes up, well, probably end of July, maybe even August. I have no idea. I've got such a huge backlog of videos, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Like... I've got the LEGO series, I've got new games to record, I've got reviews, I've got two months worth of footage from a holiday, like, I honestly have no idea how I'm structuring this. I've still got the Sonic Let's Play, just, I don't oh lord, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do it. Yeah, this room isn't that bad, like, I thought it was gonna be difficult, but these robots are very easily manageable. So it's alright. I think they die in one hit with that anyway. It's not that bad. So, this weapon is the Suck Cannon. It's not because it sucks, it's because it does what it says on the tin. I mean, not because it sucks in the sense that it's bad. Let me rephrase that. It does suck, but in the sense that it's good. Uh... Yeah, it literally sucks up smaller en enemies and crates and stuff and launches them at opponents, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I like it. It's a cool weapon. It's not great in this game. I mean, it's helpful, yes, but at the same time, it's... Okay, that was close. Yeah, it's helpful, but at the same time, it's a bit just... Mm, like, it's not bad, it's just I don't care. But it does return in Ratchet 3, and it is much better there. Because the later Ratchet games have weapons with upgrades, so you know, it's pretty cool. This game doesn't, sadly. Not that it matters, because, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah. 
I mean, depending on how well this goes, I might consider doing wrench only runs of other games. Um, I don't know how how plausible that is. Like thinking about it, I don't know what like what you can do and what you can't do with like wrench only in the later Ratchet games. I presume it's all doable. Okay, the first set appeared. I have had instances where that set doesn't appear. But that has only happened to me once. Uh, the other uh, one, however, is a 50%, for me at least, 50% of the time it does not show up. 50. That is a big number. <laughs> that is every other time it does not show up. That's not great statistics there <laughs> for, this, for this thing. And it killed me until I died. So, well, hey, it showed up. So, yeah, I, as long as, like, yeah, as long as the sl swing shot doesn't kill me there, I, yeah, I just, I beat my original universe until I die. Good job me, I think. That's pretty cool. I mean, that is impressive. And I've gone down every route as well. Like, that, that's pretty impressive. And wrench only. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester. Warhead Assembly Technician, Mutant Animal Husbandry, Robot Repairman, Suck Cannon Test Dummy, and Administrative Assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. So yeah, fun fact. Uh, this room was actually supposed to have that guy as a boss, but I'm. It was cut either for time reasons or maybe because the room was too small. Cause it's quite a small room. But uh, yeah, uh, that cutscene was supposed to appear after you beat the boss. But uh, I'm going to BTS next time in the next video. So I'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to BTS then. On Planet Docks. Anyway, yeah. No, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time on the uh, Blog Tactical Research Station. I'm gonna die! Oh wait, when I do this, look, the ship moves a little bit. Uh, because of the jarring camera angle. Oh, that was odd. That was awkward. Huh, interesting. Anyway, yeah, next time. See you then.